Good morning, guys. Today, I don't want to say today's a big day, but today seems like a closing of this chapter. So it's a little bittersweet. This is a video I never thought I would live through, let alone film. And it feels a little bit weird pulling out the camera, but Jordan and I have both been praying and the Lord's just brought us so much peace and so much hope through this that I want to show people what it looks like to go through such misery and such sadness and such turmoil, but still have peace and still have joy. Even logistically what this process looks like because prior to this, I've seen many women go through miscarriages but I haven't really heard anyone talk about like miscarrying and your body not passing the baby which is what happened with me and so we found out almost a week ago that the baby had passed by not finding the heartbeat but my body has not my body's held on tight to this baby and so I didn't have any bleeding, I didn't have any signs of a miscarriage, everything was completely normal and fine, like I was feeling great, I was in my second trimester, I was like getting my energy back. I had a silent miscarriage is the term I think they use where um, the baby slowly passes but your body does not the baby and so I am going to the hospital right now we've been to the hospital probably four or five times within the past like three or four days that in itself has been a blessing because not that there wasn't any urgency because I wasn't bleeding but Jordan and I have really been able to sit down and process everything that happened and just really grieve at the comfort of our home and with each other and without like having to rush to the hospital or like have things done like immediately it's really given us a chance to process I'm just gonna move my car to the uh, okay. street just so when they bring the truck up they get hurt okay. so yeah it's given us enough time to grieve in a slow and relaxing way it's given us enough time to tell our family members which was one of the hardest things because everyone was so excited so yeah it uh, today just it's like the last thing that needs to happen um and so it's a little bittersweet i don't want to say that i'm excited to get it over with but it does feel like this will just be the last like closing of this and I feel like that alone will bring a lot of healing. Gracious Heavenly Father, we, um, we're so sad, but we're not mourning with those who don't have hope, Lord, because we know that your Son Jesus came to give us hope beyond the grave. And so as we mourn and as we uh, just experience the time and season for everything and uh, to mourn and to lose and to weep, Lord, we know that you're here with us and that you've never been closer and we ask that you would continue to shower us with your grace and your peace lord um, and that you would continue to use this for your good ways and your good purposes lord we trust you fully and um, we thank you that uh, you weep with us and that you're uh, still exchanging our ashes for beauty Pray that you'd be with Milena, that you'd guide the doctors uh, caring for her today, that everything would go smoothly and that there'd be no issues or complications, big or small, and that uh, 
this would be the closing of one chapter, but that would be forever in our hearts and, and part of us, Lord. Uh, we thank you for the time we had with sweet baby Jaira, and we can't wait to meet him or her one day in heaven. Until then, Lord, we, uh, we know that the same arms that are holding us now are holding our baby, and we rejoice in that. In Jesus' name, amen. in the uh, waiting room. Melina's scheduled to have her procedure in about 15 minutes. Sorry, this IV is so itchy. Oh, uh, yeah. I could have a home birth, but I still press out when I get my blood drawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just met all the uh, medical staff, and again, our hope in doing this is for people who maybe, you know, alone or nervous or scared to God forbid, be going through the same thing, but you know, you can kind of have some comfort or assurance and peace in knowing, hey, this is kind of what it would look like. I just wanted to show the prayer chain that we have going. So we have friends and family that's been praying since 5 a.m. all the way until noon today in 30 minute slots. And like, we literally have everyone like just praying right now. So right now, Rachel is praying. Oh, so cool. It's been so well. Actually, is about Nava and Rachel are going on right now. Yeah. So so far, I've been here about an hour, and they've just been having nurses and specialists come in, and the anesthesiologist, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, everyone's been super gracious and mm -hmm. hospitable. So sweet. Yeah, we're, the first three <laughs> that came in were were all Christian and like, oh, we're praying for you, and just little touches like that make all the difference so I'm really thankful for the staff here but we actually met our delivery nurse that delivered Alethea uh, we saw her again and she remembered us I was like how do you how did you possibly remember she's like no I, Melina had really low blood and was like getting really scary for a second but uh, yeah she was super sweet and she also had a, a baby in heaven so um, yeah it's already kind of links you but they gave us this book. Um, it's helpful if you have like other kids that are young. So I'm gonna try to cover Melinda's face here. I'm not a vlogger, but uh, it's called "There Was a Baby," and it's written for like little kids or small kids to understand what's going on and um, in a way that's like makes them feel comfortable and like easy to to know how everything's happening. And, and yeah, they gave us some little bears here too. So one for Ari, one for Alethea. Because uh, they love rocking their babies, mm -hmm. and every night, like when I put them in, to bed, they say, "Oh, I gotta go rock my baby." So, this is them rocking their baby uh, in honor of Jaira. So, yeah, Melina's gonna go back. Um, she's under again. This might vary depending on your situation, but Melina's gonna be um, under a heavy sedation. She's not gonna be given gener general anesthesia. The difference is she doesn't have like the full breathing tube and like completely paralyzed you know, where she's not moving, but she'll be, like, heavily deep sleep, and, uh, yeah, just a little bit, like, safer, I guess, if you will. Maybe that's not even the right word. Maybe just a little less intense of a sleeping method, but they didn't want to, you know, give her more than necessary, so, yeah, it's supposed to be about 30, 45 minute procedure to, uh, remove everything, and we, uh, had a form signed for, um, like, where we're gonna bring the baby and uh, the remains and all that and have everything cremated at a local funeral home. So we, I called to just let them know, hey, we're going to be uh, reaching back out when we clear here today. So that was part of the, the process. And again, just saying all this so uh, you have a, like a little bit of an idea of what to expect, even if it's not 100% the same. Yeah, I called them. They were super helpful. Another Christian yeah, funeral home too. And again had that like oh we're really sorry you know sorry that you're going through this so it's just been great all around that people aren't getting jaded <laughs> by seeing it day after day you know but having that care really helps so yeah the lord's been good and uh we're just gonna pray that everything goes well for melana and her procedure and uh yeah no no other complications or issues big or small and uh 
yeah, we're excited to have some closure and be able to come more to peace in this whole thing. No, I didn't. All right, bye, honey. <laughs> Love you. Comfy? Yeah. All right. Seen a few. All right, Melina is out of operation room. She's still waking up and uh, a little groggy, but that's to be expected. Um, just a praise report. Uh, not only did Milena like, not need a transfusion, but she also she didn't. Yeah, she lost less than an average amount of blood for that procedure. So we're that just like thanking God experience. for that. Yeah. It was super uh, simple from Milena's point. <laughs> For mine too, but you know, yeah. they just gave her the anesthesia. Last thing she remembers is them putting a warm blanket on her, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. I think I was waiting 40 minutes, so it was like 45 minutes um, round trip from the time they took her to the time she came back. And doctor came in just a minute or two before Melina and said, you know, everything went well. They were able to get all the uh, all the tissue out and. They were not only able to get everything out, but they were able to have enough for pathology to examine, mm -hmm. plus to have um, our remains, really? plus yeah, plus to have enough for our genetic and gender testing. So, oh, yay. yeah, so it was just the Lord exceedingly answered our prayers. So it was great, but yeah, we're excited to uh, see our family and go back home soon. So. Now I'm going to play some Michael W. Smith for Milena while she's recovering and uh, waking back up. It's one of my, my one request. All right. Angela. Angela. Whenever I can be. Yes. So we just finished up. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. By God's grace, everything went well. Yeah, so many of our prayers were answered. Like she said, not only did I not have excessive bleeding, but I actually had way less bleeding than what they normally suspect which is like yeah. such a blessing because if you guys are familiar with just like how my past pregnancies have been and I've always leaned towards more anemic so like blood is always like a concern and so something like this that was definitely like the forefront of like their the doctor's process but also why it took an extra couple of days for me to actually have the procedure because they gave me an iron infusion a couple of days to go to make sure everything was like cushioned and everything was well so yeah praise the lord it's like weird that i'm smiling but i just like truly am so thankful that he literally answered every single prayer that we had like even down to this might be kind of tmi but i think it's helpful for others out there mm -hmm. um who are kind of like scared or un unknown or don't really know what's going on with mm -hmm. these kinds of things but like mm -hmm. we were able to have enough of the tissue go to pathology mm -hmm. plus for the genetic and and uh gender testing mm -hmm. plus for us to have the remains given back to us for the funeral mm -hmm. home to yeah. cremate so mm -hmm. that's uh those are just like all the things we wish for and of course that Milena would be you know in good health and no complications mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. To hear that it couldn't have gone any better than it did was just such a, a way of for God to show up and do a exceedingly mm -hmm. more than we asked him to. Yeah. So, and I like feel really good right now too. I need. I mean, I know I'm on medication. They did give me like painkillers and stuff. So, but I was able to walk to the car. Like, my bleeding is really low. I feel like this was very helpful to us too. I feel like each day that has helped mm -hmm. that goes by and like each like page that passes of us like closing this chapter has been really healing in itself too. I think the and hardest like, part was is... you getting your IV in. <laughs> I know. I'm like such a baby. <laughs> Out of the whole process. I know. I just, I like, it's funny because every time they like draw my IVs, my blood always squirts everywhere, which is ironic because I like, you would think that it wouldn't just because I'm like more anemic. I think your blood pressure is not high, so it's not like... Yeah, no, literally, like, I, it was like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't see that. I always normally never look anyway, but that just really did it for me. So, yeah, this is a part of our story now, and I know there, it's a part of so many other people's story, um, and I just 
really really deeply empathize with people it's like a pain that you never want to go through you never it yeah there really are like no words if you've experienced this too I'm so sorry that you've had to walk through that but yeah for us I feel like it's helped too knowing that we're not the only ones that have gone through this so many have I believe one in four women go through that which is a really high and like to me that was like one in one out of my four pregnancies yeah. So I like really fit that statistic quite perfectly. Yeah, I think it's something um, between 15 and 25 percent of pregnancies will mm -hmm. result in miscarriage, which is just yeah. tragic, you know. Mm -hmm. Not only the, of course, the loss of the life, but then the, like, the toll it takes on your body. I know, yeah. How and how you just, like work, your, your body's under so much for so long, mm -hmm. and for it to result in loss is just so, I know. so devastating. And this was one of my easiest pregnancies too, so I'm like so thankful for that too because I think it would be really difficult having going through nausea and like all of that for months on end. Um, yeah. It's also been therapeutic, I think, talking it through and processing it and yeah. having friends that yeah, and are like, like checking in on you to, hey, if, you're, if you mm -hmm. need to talk through anything, let me know. And you Yeah. Know, so that's been great. And we've been figuring out like yesterday we had some people over who didn't know our story and they're like oh well how many kids do you guys have and it's like oh I I have three I'm supposed to have a fourth like it's just like what do you say and then it's like do you really want to have to like I don't know anyone who's gone through it like how do you say that because I want to acknowledge this baby like it's impacted and forever like changed our entire family not just like our like our parents and our siblings and like so many of our loved ones around us. Um, yeah, it brings just, such unity like and, a, and transcendent peace to the world. Yeah, of, uh, to our world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to say and this is something. It's just something I'm thinking of now. Not like I've prepared for this by any means, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'll probably address it as somebody asks me the question: How many kids do you have? I'll, I have three and the Lord has one or something mm. like that. There's three in my arms, one in his kind of thing. Just because that acknowledges, you know, you have that life that you're you're acknowledging that's a, a baby still, but it's, you know, not here with us. But yeah, it's been, it's been difficult, but we've never felt the Lord as close as, he, as he's been, you know. I don't think I've ever told Jordan I love him as much as I have. <laughs> like, babe, I don't know. Just get ready for it. I'm going to tell you I love you every 10 seconds. Love you, too. Mm -hmm. Let's go home. I want to snuggle my other babies. All right. And give them these. Yeah. You can sweet. read that book to the kids. There's no way I'm going to be oh. able to read through that book without... I was choking up just reading it in my head. I can't even... Um, yeah, that's... Oh, okay, let's go home. Oh, hey! 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 Oh, my dog. In the car. I think she's she about to be in good the next few days. Oh. Yeah, Wait, I'm Kelsey. gonna make the food for you. Mm. A friend, Kelsey, drove an hour to drop this off. Homemade Hi. goodies, cookies, ugh. And my other friend and her mom brought over a homemade meal. How big is this? Oh my gosh. <gasps> she got wow. some oil to pour on it. Mm. Wow. Oh, and there's a plate of fruits. Mm. Beautiful fruits. Wow. Suddenly, this camera feels like it weighs 25 pounds. <laughs> oh my gosh. All done? Make sure to flush. All right, guys, so it has been a couple hours. We're back home. Um, Jordan's mom came this morning is with, and was with the kids because they were still sleeping when we left this morning. Um, and then- I slept good. You did sleep good? <laughs> I never came in your bed. No, you didn't. You did stay in your bed. Mm -hmm. That was really good. So, remember if we- the it's last been, couple of days, the kids have been wanting extra snuggles at night. You've remember, been like every day we stay in our bed, we get the do stickers at the end, mm -hmm. get a big piece of candy, or we can mm -hmm. get two, even though 
Mm-hmm. We could get two each. Yeah. Right? Or and we could get, like, two for us, right? Yeah. And I was going to ask you and Ari if you guys wanted to go to the store and you can pick out a baby doll. And you can name it Baby Gyra and you can... Yeah, we could get one for Baby Gyra. Yeah, and then you can take care of it and stuff and just play no, with it. No, no. The stuff I want to know is for Baby Gyra. Okay. Not for us. Got it. We got one for you wanna, two babies. You want to get a gift for... I am not... For Gyra? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give a special gift. And guess what? She's going to get when she grows up. Mm. If she does everything that's right, get two donuts. Then save one for her. But to remember, she's not, she's not going to get to grow up. She or he isn't going to get to grow up. Remember, they're already in heaven. Yeah, but, but we'll get another baby. Do you think we should name it Gyra? Maybe we could give to the next baby another name, and we'll pray for that when the Lord's will. Well, let's give her name Gyra. You want to have two babies named Gyra? No, just one. Okay. Because we didn't name a, chi- a baby Gyra yet, right? We did. We named this baby that we had Gyra. Yeah, but we're the uh, the another baby, mm-hmm. another baby. We're gonna name it Gyra. The same name. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, cause we named one like Gyra. Go yeah. ahead, say what you're. All right, so our family has been truly the sweetest. I mean, you guys saw, we my sister started a meal train with like our closest best friends. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with you. Yeah, I know you can. Here, nuzzle in me. I just don't want your face on camera too, because we're gonna keep your privacy. So our family has truly been such. I I, I really. The Lord's timing is so perfect because the community that we have right now, like had this happened a year ago, I feel like our outcome and our the way that we would have viewed this would have looked so different. So I'm very thankful for that. So yeah, I'm just so thankful for the Lord's timing and the way that everything has unfolded because I think I'm just kissing my belly. Thank you, Tukes. The baby's not there anymore, Tukes. But it's still in your tummy, right? No. This morning, the doctors took took the baby out. What baby? Baby Gyra. Did they bury her yet? They, they're they going to, yes. They're but, first going to do a couple of But where is the baby? At the hospital. What does it look like? And we can't really tell. He wasn't too big. He was still like... Like little. Like this one? Yeah, small? he was little. Mm-hmm. Like this one? He wasn't the size as Evangeline was. Remember, my tummy, you could see that I had a baby, but it wasn't too big of a like, tummy. Like this? Yeah, I think a little bit bigger. Like yeah. this? Mm hmm. Like this? Yeah, so we had to stay. Like this? Mm hmm. Yeah, no, not that big. Like that? Yeah, smaller. Like this? Mm hmm. Like that? Mm hmm. Like this? Mm hmm. Oh, that's how small I was? Yeah. Like, and he, he, he's not breathing. Like a size of a band-aid? A little bigger, yeah. Like a size of a lamp? Mm, maybe it's a little smaller than my phone. Mate, like a size of your boob. A size of your tummy. <laughs> a size of your arm. A size of your nose. A size of your teeth. A size of your eyes. Hey, you're not going to really bite me, right? No. Just go. She loves you. And guess what? On, um... Um, so... You're so sweet. She keeps grabbing my belly. You're the sweetest, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm so thankful for our community. I'm so thankful for our family. Like, the Lord truly, you guys, has... We have felt nothing but such peace and comfort this entire time. There's no... There's not been a single... There's been sadness and sorrow and grief, yes. But there's not been a single ounce of, like, of fear, of anger. Like, nothing that, you know, I feel like during a time like this... There can be a lot of bitterness. One thing that I started praying like immediately after I found out was like, Lord, help me. I know a lot of women after having a miscarriage, it's really hard for them to see other women pregnant or um, talk about pregnancy or just like newborn babies and stuff. Remember and so, my boo-boo here? Yep, I'm sorry. So I've just prayed that the Lord just really soften my heart and just really allow me to celebrate and rejoice and just truly be excited for those people too and so he has truly answered every single of those prayers i feel like i could honestly do a 45 minute video alone on the prayers that we have prayed and like 
have asked for during all of this time and the Lord has truly just showed up in every do single way. So even though it's been like a time of such grief and such sorrow, there's also been such peace and love and gentleness and like I've never been more in love with Jordan. Like I, I've never told him I love him as much as I have the last couple days. We've never hugged as much as we have. Like I, we've held on so tight to each other and it's really just unified us because another big prayer of mine was that this be such a witness to our kids because um, when I found out I was with both Alethea and Ari and Jordan was at home working and Evangeline was napping with him and so Jordan and I were separated during that time. Um, and so the kids got to witness obviously my reaction to everything but then they got to witness how on the car ride home I was weeping but I was praising the Lord I was worshiping I was singing out to him like I was just praying like Lord let this not be a time of like yeah. trauma and despair but that the kids on the way, um, on to, uh, when we came back home from leaving the doc um, the midwives yeah wait wait what about going to the hospital I want you to learn that okay I will and so the kids were able to just kind of witness just such peace. Like they could, they knew we were sad. You know, they've seen us on our hands and feet, like our heads bound down before the Lord, just like on our knees worshiping and just crying out to him. Um, but they've also witnessed like Jordan and I just come together in a way that th I don't think they have before. So it's been really beautiful, the flowers that have come from this. And yeah, there's so many verses, you guys, that have just really carried me. One of the main ones is in Matthew, where it talks about how the Lord takes care of the sparrows and the birds and like how much more does he care for us. In the world. Yeah, like the Lord literally cares for the birds and the little animals and insects of this world. How much more does he love us? I do not. A lot. A lot more. But our job is to follow Jesus and his and his um son, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus and his son. Who's Jesus' son? Uh, God. God. The God is God's son is Jesus. Jesus is God's, God's son? son? That's right. Mm -hmm. I thought Jesus his son is God other way jesus did not have any kids he was around 30 when he yeah but he loves the kids he does yeah he would have been a cool dad yeah does your tears come from there or from there sometimes both sides they come here and from here sometimes right yeah alethea's wiped every tear so has delilah if you guys remember when i was like pregnant and throwing up and stuff with all my other pregnancies They've all been there. So, my mom and sister were here, which was so nice. Their friends have been dropping off food. Who's your mom and sister? Nanette and Vava. Oh. Did, did Vava push out you and mm -hmm. Nanette? Yes. Remember, Vava had a C-section for us. We came out of her tummy. I thought you she pushed you guys out mm -hmm. of her vagina. Nope. We came out of her tummy. Why? Like did this. They... How did they do that? They do a little cut. With what? A knife. What? I know, it's crazy. I know, women who do that. Women, 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 you guys. The Lord, like, truly, I am just so... It's it's hard to come up with words just because there's been so much, obviously, that has happened. And I'm not the most, like, poetic person when it comes to stuff like this. But truly, like, I have such an... I admire women so much more. I The stuff that we endure and go through like physically mentally emotionally i'm just really thankful i feel like the i i just am so much in so much peace like i i truly don't know what else to say so my two youngest are napping right now um jordan's working out it's also been nice because we have had like we've kept ourselves doing our usual routine that has also been healing a couple of things i can do I mean, I don't know if you guys want to hear, but what I've done that I think has really helped us um, and has been healing and has brought us a lot of peace outside of prayer and just like con constantly saturating ourselves in God's word. Um, I think there have been some very practical things that we have done too. Like we've kept about our usual routine with the kids. Like I still was homeschooling them the day after we went on a nature walk. Like there's been several things that we've continued to done. We've went, we went to church, we hung out with our friends. 
to sprout me back some timbits. So they did give me um, painkillers like through my, my IV when I was still under and so I definitely think I still feel those because I'm not, I was in a little bit of pain when I woke up, I'm not anymore. I do have on a, is it called a girdle? I, that thing that like is really tight that you put on because I did have a belly, I mean I was like 17 weeks so things feel a little bit like flappy and like unsupported now so i did put this on just because i really do like having that on that like extra support until my abs feel a little bit more structured um the recovery he's like i'm only slightly bleeding there's a lot of stuff that i'm intentionally leaving out there was a lot of stuff that had actually happened last week that we had several visits for like things that i'm i just won't publicly be sharing about but yeah there were some other things that they had to do and i do have stitching in my cervix they said which will dissolve on its own so I'm praying that that just like goes smoothly and that won't affect like any next births or anything like that so yeah i'm going to rest i think i'm gonna put a heating pad on my legs feel really heavy and then i'm still trying to debate if i'm gonna take more pain medication the thing about that because i remember like the thing about pain medication is like you feel really great and you're like oh no i'm doing great oh thanks dude cause she's getting on my heating pad um you're like oh no i'm doing good and then like the medicine slowly starts wearing off and you're like i am not good I don't want the massage on, just the... Okay, oh, oh, but that, that, good. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna sit and rest here for a little bit. I might have an update for you guys a little bit, but I'm just You're so thankful. It too. Yeah, I'm so thankful for our friends and family. Like I just, it's just our, our community, you guys, it is one of the most beautiful things. It was a prayer that I prayed for for over five years. Years. Sorry for making that Five noise. Five years, you guys. It's so I... loud. I'm so sorry for making that noise. You're fine. Just popping. Okay. Just popping my drink open. I'm going to put more ice, but it's... I know it's still cold. It might Just make sure to come back, okay? Because I'll miss you. Yeah, I'm always coming. Okay. Remember? So, yeah, and like experiencing this with kids that are able to understand. I mean, our oldest understands and definitely knows what's going on the youngest too i don't really think they do yet our son is going to be three next month and so he's still a little bit young he has told us like he came down one day and it was the sweetest thing i just it it broke my heart i started weeping but he came downstairs he was giving us a hard time earlier in the day and i mean i know you if parents have gone through this and you have other kids like when you when your kids are giving you a hard time it like it's not it's you're just kind of like i really don't need this right now but he was giving us he was having a harder time during the day and i think obviously it has to do with all that's going on too because even though he might not be aware of what's going on he can see that mom and dad are crying you know so it's i've been extremely gracious with them with all of that and giving them just as much grace and peace and kindness as like i obviously want people to extend to me too he went upstairs for a little bit and then came back down and when he came back down he was apologizing to us and we did not ask him he literally was apologizing we said i'm sorry dada and mama that i did that i know you guys miss the baby a lot and i miss him too and oh my gosh it like it was the first it was the day after this had happened and it was the first time that he truly kind of acknowledged what had happened and so for us that like really meant a lot and it was just so sweet to hear a a two-year-old say something like that you know so yeah and if anything what this has taught me is to just be kind to people all the time because even when we're driving on the road going from doctor appointment to doctor appointment or like driving from place to place like we're encountering people and like we have no idea what's going on like we went through the chick-fil-a drive through one of the times and jordan and i were both like weeping and the guy was so sweet and like saying my pleasure like it wasn't anything like out of the ordinary that they would do at chick-fil-a but just it's just that extra smile just like meant so much to us we what? had grieved for two days and what processed is? for two days and prayed for two days what? about what so i feel like there's so much that I, I we should probably do a podcast to kind of like walk through everything but one of the we had about two days to fully pray and grieve and really think about what the next step was going to be i really had wanted to just naturally deliver at home but like i said my body was just so tightly holding on to this baby that that didn't seem possible and scheduling things out um it was approaching the weekend and so we did have to wait over the weekend 
But on our way to one of our visits to just confirm everything, to just triple check and like they really wanted to see like all of what was going on beforehand. This is the car that was in front of us, you guys. It literally says, Lord Jesus changed lives. Come to Jesus. Jesus cares. Okay. Okay. I don't I don't know if it's gonna show up really well on the camera. On our way to the hospital, this was like our first time too going. This was Jordan's first time going to, because I had gone to my moon wife's office and had experienced that. And then like I came home. So this was like Jordan's first time like of us going to the hospital together. So I think there was just a lot of emotions for that. Um, and everything has kind of felt like pages unfolding before us. And I think today just really felt like the last page and the Lord just really signed it off and like, that book is like that book is closed and like this is a part of our story now and part of our life and um our misery will become our ministry and i'm so excited to be able to show people that you can grieve and have such heartache and such loss but also feel such peace at the same time so yeah i'm gonna take a nap Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Refrain from any Mr. Chris, Chris H. 